stock watchers and welcome to your daily stock report brought to you by qualitystocks.net where performance is tracked daily for you. I'm Kathy Rankin and for Monday, March 19th, we're bringing you the latest news from around the markets as well as the top movers to look out for today. In our headline news, stocks snapped a two-day winning streak Friday as diminished hopes of the Fed easing early this year prompted investors to take some money off the table going into the weekend. Before the bell, February core CPI rose a less than feared 0.2 percent, matching economists' forecasts and initially offering some comfort to the financial markets. However, since inflationary pressures aren't the market's main concern right now, as economic demand simply isn't strong enough to support higher levels of inflation, an overly pessimistic market instead viewed a report that also included a surprise 0.8 percent rise in food prices as another hurdle for policymakers to justify a rate cut anytime soon. Volume on the New York Stock Exchange during the first 30 minutes of trading set a record due largely to Friday's quarterly options expiration. But it wasn't long before a lot of the open interest and key futures contracts that helped to lift stocks earlier in the day had all but disappeared, fueling a new wave of selling interest that pushed the major averages into negative territory and never recovered. From a sector standpoint, energy turned in the day's worst performance in sympathy with falling oil prices. After tumbling more than 2% intraday to a six-week low below $57 per barrel, oil prices also influenced the day's action. Crude for April delivery closed down 0.8%, near $57.10 per barrel, which was certainly good news for consumers going into the weekend, especially after higher gas prices pushed sentiment to six-month lows. But diminishing demand for oil merely exacerbated the market its underlying concerns about global economic weakness. The biggest thorn in the market side was an early reversal in financials that removed influential leadership. The sector rolled over around 11.15 Eastern time as this week's relief rally among beaten down mortgage lenders and brokerage stocks amid reassurance that subprime mortgage missteps have not spilled over to the credit markets came to an end. And now for our small cap news brought to you by Subsurface Waste Management of Delaware Incorporated. Subsurface Waste Management of Delaware engages in the design, installation, and operation of proprietary soil and groundwater remediation systems for cleanup of toxic waste releases to soil and groundwater and the biorecycling of spent activated carbon filtration media. Now let's take a look at a few of the top percentage gainers from March 1st to March 16th, 2007 and highlight some that saw huge gains and were able to maintain some of their momentum. eCash Incorporated was first profiled on March 5th as the leader by percentage gained when the company at 20 cents a share shot up 590% to $1.38 a share. eCash was able to maintain momentum this week, opening today up another 19% at $1.61 a share. Ecash Incorporated engages in the ownership and operation of automatic teller machines. Now, with recent news that a number of states have announced legislative plans to address donation of umbilical cord blood could bode well for Biostem Incorporated, who recently announced a letter of intent with Cryobanks International Incorporated. Cryobanks has been accepting and processing donated cord blood units from anywhere in the continental United States since 1995. Biostem had a great week this week with news that has been heavily profiled by almost everywhere and another great day Friday previously at $1.58 a share, climbing up 40% to $2.22 a share. Pet Ecology Brands Incorporated announced this month that they have entered into a stock purchase agreement with Tricon Holdings LLC and Texas Atlantic Capital Partners LLC. Tricon, Tricon Holdings LLC and Texas Atlantic Capital Partners LLC, with a substantial capital contribution, will jointly purchase controlling interest in PECB, closing a schedule for June 30th of this year or earlier if all conditions can be met. Pet Ecology Brands Incorporated was first profiled this month in the Quality Stocks Daily Newsletter on March 6th at 6 cents a share and closed Friday at 14 cents a share. And that's it for our newsmakers today. Stay tuned right here to Quality Stocks Daily for the latest commentary on small cap to large cap and everything in between where performance is tracked daily. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kathy Rankin. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow right here on The Daily Report. Got it.